Today we are going to make logo in PowerPoint which is one of the amazing part of that video without going to any expert programming software for your designing logo. Therefore, let's get started. You can see that I have a logo here and it is completely designed in uh, PowerPoint and we are going to just see the different step that how we are going to achieve such type of logo design while you are going to get for your organization for your school for your college or any sort of that logo which you are going to use for sports etc then you can easily create or design that in adobe uh, in uh, powerpoint as well okay again if you want to uh give me your services like we are also uh, giving very amazing service for logo designing and uh, the description is in uh, the link of that services in description which you are going to check and just give me order and just take you away from all all the hurdles we are going to make your logo with very cheap and amazing price and you can see all these logo designs okay let's get started and come to the point we are going to come in powerpoint and we are going to uh, make new document and here we have like black presentation and uh, you have two boxes which we don't need for logo design okay what you are going to do delete all of that two boxes and here we are going to come and uh, insert one box here and we call that for example you name what you want okay but for now uh, i name professional tutorial and uh, i'm going to increase the size of that uh, maybe we are going to increase both of that okay uh, for that one i'm going to click outside and you can see we have selected both of that uh maybe that is 32 and that is 36 therefore we are going to make that 32 as well now we have just met here and here you will come in home and you have some sort of like shapes here on the top okay what you are going to do you need a circle and it should be a complete circle okay but i don't need the fill color in that circle therefore we are going to click here in shape fill and we are going to click on no fill and again i'm click on shape fill uh okay on outline and we are going to make a outline a little bit thin and here you can see now i will copy that outline and make one new outline and you know that the shortcut is Control c and control v uh control c for copy and control v for paste now i will make that little bit smaller and we are going to check that how much we can just achieve the size and i'm holding like shift key for perfect pro pro for, uh, proportion and therefore it will completely uh, like that one now i'm going to select both of that outline and you can uh, select that by holding down shift key and press the second outline as well now what we are going to do uh, we will come here in arrangement or in arrange in align we align that center and you can see it is center but we also align that as vertical uh middle okay now you can see that now it is aligned in middle as well but i need that uh, to be like it should be like a little bit more space we need okay like maybe like that much okay what next i'm going to do i need to curve that into that circle therefore uh what we are going to do we are going to click on that circle and we will click on format and here you have color effect but before applying uh, text effect i may apply some sort of like uh, formatting that one you can see we have different formation and i like the one it is i think that one or blue color is already fine for me and we will come like again in text effect and we have transform okay in transform we are going to select the circle or the semicircle 
whatsoever you want for example i want semicircle but you are thinking that or looking that it is not a perfect type of curve therefore we are going to increase the size here and again i can change the arc from here and you can see now we are getting like uh, everything perfect but i need complete circle art okay now once again i will increase the side and here we are going to make it a curve maybe like that and we will bring here and maybe i need a little bit more curve and we are going to select like that and if i need for example some more like curve then i can increase the curve as well uh, now you can see we have a professional tutorial here and we have designed that one now once again i will come in home and uh, in insert and we are going to click on text box and i will just write down a slogan as well here for that we are going to call free uh, logo designing tutorial okay maybe you can change it according to your organization or institution or website or say what you want okay that is not a problem then again we are going to click format and i'm repeating again and again because the same procedure will apply on all all the designs okay now again we are going to come here and i need like arc of down okay therefore we are going to like change it here and maybe i'm going to rotate the text and here we have like rotation and uh, maybe i can increase the size and yeah that is fine but i need to increase the font size as well okay now here you can see and also rotate a little bit okay i don't need to change the top one but i need to change a little bit the bottom one here and and i'm using arrow key to move it okay arrow key uh, arrow left or arrow right what uh, any button which you are going to click it will select like this one but again you can see we need to change the format for example first i need to change the text could be something 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 more like that one and again we need two stars here for that you can see in home we have star and i can design simply star here and uh, i will also change maybe the color a little bit more into blue okay the feel should be more dark yeah that is i think fine now control c and control v we have just copied that star and i just bring that here now once again i will make one new text here uh, text box and i will use the initial for professional and tutorial okay increase the size for example we need to increase the size and format to change like that color maybe here and again i need to change like the font should be something more good okay let me just check which font is okay for me okay now i think that font is fine uh andrea grotext or grotext okay what i'm going to do next i will just increase the size maybe a little bit more and maybe we are going to arrange here and yeah yeah perfect and it is looking good and if you are going to increase the size maybe uh here a bit more and yeah now you can see everything is uh, looking very nice and completely fine and you have very nice like shadow here gradient which is uh, coming from here and disappearing at the bottom and you have a uh, very nice like 2d shape okay professional tutorial with shadow and everything is designed completely while we are working in adobe uh, no adobe illustrator okay in uh 
PowerPoint and uh, complete functionality has been used uh, has chosen or taken from the PowerPoint presentation as well and now you can just take that uh, logo anywhere for example in your YouTube channel into your website into your t-shirt design and anywhere where you want again you can change any color or any size of that information or you can make more like variation from that uh, from that like logo maybe you can increase the size of uh, mean, uh, maybe you can increase the number of that star from here or you can just put three star here as well like uh, you are going to put three star here okay anything which is coming in your mind with the creativity you can just take that in the that logo design and I hope you got the idea that how we are going to design uh, logo in PowerPoint again if you don't want to uh, make logo yourself and just make yourself spare from all the hurdles then you can hire me directly from my uh, Fiverr account and we are going to make your logo most amazing logo with most creative way uh, where you can just uh, take it anywhere with the proud i hope you like that video just thumbs up share with your friends and don't forget to share with your friends if you have any problem just write that in comment box below for now give me permission to say goodbye